Kareen Towel dried fees soak wet hair. Okay. That should do it. Still can't believe you ran all the way over there without an umbrella. What were you thinking? I was worried about the flowers. It's not an excuse to get yourself sick. The least thing, the last thing I want is for Laura to get all worried about you now that you two made up. Not to mention the rest of us. I know. You'll get gray with all that worry. That's just fine by me. He can already turn into Sarah Gray. <laughs> it's, it's like a Super Saiyan transformation for him. Class 7's practically family to me. I can't help but worry about everyone. Thanks. That is another thing. With, with Fee, she's like a little sister to Rain in a lot of ways. Looks like the Rain's about to let up. The flowers should be okay now. Sure they are. They should be blooming before too long, too. Keep up the good work. Yep. You'll be the first person to see them when they do. Hmm. Give me something to look forward to. Hmm. Nice, ring four. Now Fee is caught up to the rest of them. Deadly assist. Oh. What does that mean? You young folk are always so energetic. Even though it's summer, it's not good to let your body stay cold for so long. Be sure you warm up a bit before you head home. That is something with a lot of Japanese games. For some reason, just being out in the rain immediately gets you sick. Like, no, no, no chances of it not happening. <laughs> Rain isn't always cold, and it definitely doesn't always make you sick. Thanks for the help. If my flowers bloom, you'll be the first sh I show. Okay. I wonder if that was even a hangout event? Like, to get character profile. Because I don't know if we learned anything new? Yeah, there wasn't anything new added to that about flowers. But it has a bunch of stuff right here. I guess that was just telling me that Fee wouldn't actually be there. Okay, yeah, that's what it says. It, Fee isn't actually there. Yeah, the, the glowing thing. Okay, whatever. That's fine. The other options were Machias or Toa. Um, Toa Blink experience doesn't matter? As far as I know, it, d it doesn't, at least. Though technically, I think at the end of the game, depending on how much Link, you need to have a certain Link level in order to do certain things. But I'm not romancing her. So, that's fine. Anyway. We are done with all of the things we needed to do, I believe. So let's head back. Give myself a save. Um, just to double check everything. Yeah, we got everything. Welcome back, Master Rain. Um, save it. So read the Imperial Chronicles, what? I will we'll, we'll figure that out. And this is what's active. Hey there, Sharon. 
I hope the sudden shower didn't catch you too unaware. Would you like me to fetch you a dry change of clothes? Nah, I'll survive. Thanks to your warning this morning, I was able to avoid the worst of the downpour. I'm amazed you were able to tell a storm was coming that far in advance, though. <laughs> Chairman Arena takes a lot of business trips, so I'm used to keeping an eye on the weather. Never being caught unawares is just one of a maid's many responsibilities. I can't really picture any other maids holding themselves to such an unrealistic standard. I'll let you know when dinner is ready, so just wait in your room until then. I expect the meal will take a little longer to prepare than usual today. Oh? How come? Well, with two new residents in the dormitory, I thought I might make tonight's dinner a little fancier than usual. A welcoming feast of sorts for them. Really? That sounds like a great idea. I'm looking forward to it already. Anything I can help you with for it? Oh, could you? I'm actually short a few ingredients, so I was just about to step out to buy what I need. I'd be happy to run to the market for you then. It's still coming down out there. Might as well go back out while I'm still damp, right? Don't worry about me. I don't mind. The arena is constantly wet. <laughs> well, if you insist, I'd be happy to take you up on your kind offer. Here's a list of everything I'd like you to buy. That should be exactly enough mirror to cover the expense. All right. I'll be back soon then. <laughs> Take care out there. All right. Not raining anymore, apparently. And the time has changed drastically since the few seconds we've been in there. Jeez. Or how long have you been trying to shop? Looks like the rain must have stopped while I was inside. Jeez, how long did you it's take? It's gotten pretty dark out, too. I'd better get back to the dorm. Oh, hello. Oh. You wouldn't happen to be one of the Class 7 students from Thor's, would you? That, oh, from, from Reen, he's like, hmm. Out for a little late night shopping, are we? You could say that, but how did you know I'm from Class 7? <laughs> You're one of the favorite topics at our radio station, actually. There are plenty of people out there who want to know more about Thor's dashing guys and gals in red. Yeah. Green, you with your super eyes and super senses should totally be seeing a resemblance from someone else right now. Oh, you work at the radio station? I think I've seen you around town a couple times in the early morning. Oh, really? By the time morning rolls around, I'm usually so out of it. I hope I didn't look like I was about ready to keel over. N no, not at all. Hold on. Your voice sounds so familiar. Oh, maybe you know me from the radio? Ahem. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. This summer's turning into a real scorcher, isn't it? To beat the heat, we're going to be broadcasting tonight from a park. <laughs> Ring any bells? Wait. Huh? You're Misty? From Abend time? Okay, the comparison Bingo. I'm doing doesn't happen till later, I guess. You must be quite the avid listener, recognizing my voice so easily. Glad to know I've got a faithful fan out there. It doesn't take much to recognize someone's voice, wow. you know. I never figured I'd meet Misty herself, especially like this. <laughs> I always make sure to catch up in time. It helps me relax while I'm studying. <laughs> Thanks. But it sure is serendipitous, you know? Having a chance encounter like this, just after the rain's eased up. Okay, you're giving me Sarah vibes. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't mention this on tonight's show. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that I really constitute a noteworthy topic for a radio broadcast. It's kind of weird. I only know her from Abin time, but she seems just as friendly face to face. Hmm? Is something the matter? You're staring at me so intently, I feel a little embarrassed. Um, well, forgive me if this sounds a little odd, but... It's never a great way to start a sentence. This isn't actually our first meeting, is it? If I'm not mistaken, we met once before. Twice, actually. In a hotel in Heimdall. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe it. I never figured anyone would actually catch on. How? So you really are her. The Azure Diva herself, Vita Clotilde. Right you are once again. 
Honestly, even the people I work with at the radio station don't seem to have noticed, so I'm surprised you could tell. That makes two of us. I almost didn't say anything because it just seemed too implausible. But if you don't mind me asking, how did a star like you end up working at Radio Trista? <laughs> it's just a little something I do for fun on the side. Gotta spice life up a bit, right? The best part is, the people at the Opera House in Heimdall have no idea I come here to do my show every week. So don't go telling anyone, okay? It'll be our secret. Uh, of course. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm amazed no one else has figured it out, though. It's not like you use a different voice when you're on the radio. Well, there's a little trick to it. <laughs> you're not the only one who was surprised, though. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I had this feeling I'd seen you before, but I couldn't put my finger on where. But it's you, isn't it? Um... Okay. Hello? Anyway, I have to get over to the studio now. Alright, Oh, fine. and be sure to tune in to tonight's Aubin time. It'll be a fun one. Promise. W wouldn't miss it. <laughs> Who is she referring to? <laughs> and give my regards to? to those two, would you? Huh? She smells like lavender? Rain. The fragrance really suits her. Rain. So Vita Clotilde herself has been hosting a radio show in Trista. Even if I told them, I don't think they'd believe me. Oh, welcome back. Aren't you supposed to be getting, you know... Oh, hey there, Emma. Materials necessary. Sorry. Sorry, uh, sorry, wait, I'm talking. But aren't you supposed to be giving materials necessary for the dinner that, um, that's being cooked right now, Marine? While you're taking your time, everybody's gonna be hungry. She can't, like, finish cooking without them. Yeah, I just returned a short while ago. Were you out shopping? Yeah, Sharon asked me to go out and pick up a few things for dinner. Though I ended up taking a bit longer than I expected. Yeah, you were there for, like, hours. Wait, do I smell lavender on you? This is perfume, isn't it? How did it get up to you? Oh, you're gonna have to explain this oh, one, Rain. Right. I guess I must have soaked up the scent too. <laughs> she did get pretty close. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, um Reen. <laughs> I can only hope the reason you ended up taking longer than expected isn't because you were. Whoa, 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 hold on. You've got the wrong idea, Emma. I just happened to bump into someone I know while I was out. That's all. Nothing scandalous. Nothing I'd be ashamed of. <laughs> I never said it was. Though you do seem strangely defensive for a man who has nothing to hide. That's just rain in a nutshell. Huh. I wonder what would happen if Elise and the other girls were to catch wind of this. <laughs> I swear, I just ran into someone I know after I left the store. Nothing happened. You just like raking me over the coals, don't you? Ah, <laughs> oh, Master Reen. I see you've returned. Were you able to get everything I asked for? Sh sure did. Let me bring it over. And he's out. Lavender. Huh. No, that's impossible. Is there something special about lavender? I know the... Like I said, I've done this before, so I know basics of what's going on, so I think I understand what's that's supposed to be about. But it's just, you know, lavender. I'm pretty sure that was pretty commonly used. Um, after Rain decided to get Sharon cooking, okay. Dinner's ready, everyone sat down and enjoyed especially extravagant meal in celebration of Pro and Millium joining class seven. Okay, so this is reading Imperial Chronicles. Okay. <laughs> if you want to read this, I will leave it up for a little bit. 
um, let you read through it, but basically, okay, terrorist attack, yeah, press alpha, and then at least isn't mentioned for some reason. Actually, no, she is, but her name isn't? Okay, Imperial family regarding the terrorists, Prince Alvin, who is in danger, to run the recent terrorist attack, both placed both princesses, princes and Princess Alvin in danger, sorry. It looks like they did not mention Elise, but it's basically telling, saying what happened. Um, it's just saying young students, it's not actually mentioning class seven. And yeah, it didn't mention his sister. And the trade conference is going on. Paranormal Chronicle Radio is one year old. Interesting. Like, evil. Oh, that's. Um, like, evil, I think, is where um, Laura lives. It's next to their. The Ram Castle and all that. Yeah, all that stuff. So, the West Samaria Trade Conference <clears throat> is just over a week away now. A building that tall is exactly what you'd expect from an economic powerhouse like Crossbelt 2. <sighs> it's a big world out there. Still, we've got Milliam and Crow as classmates now. Who would have seen that coming? Crow opened up to us right from the start. Though, I guess that's just Crow for you. And Milliam's become way more attached to us than I thought she would too. They were both able to form combat links with us right from day one. I had my concerns about how well they'd mesh with the class, but maybe I was worried for nothing after all. Been using his psychic powers again. Good evening. I'm your host, Misty. It's August 18th, and we're winding down a busy day here at 9 p.m. I'm here to give you all the cool you need to beat this summer heat. Hey, looks like I'm not too late to catch this week's oven time. Seems like those hot summer days keep coming with no end in sight, doesn't it? But even this heat can't stop the momentum behind the West Amuria Trade Conference being held in Crossbell later this month. Prince Oliver and Chancellor Osborne will be in attendance for this watershed moment in international business. <laughs> Personally, I'm more interested in the view from the top of that famous new skyscraper the talks are being held in. In some news closer to home, you all have probably noticed the summer showers we're getting here in Trista. The rain's let up for now, but it's managed to push that nasty nighttime humidity right off the charts. It's nights like these I wish I could smuggle an ice-cold beer into the studio. And the director is chilling over there, drink in hand, mocking me. But you know what? Forget that guy. Anyway, for all you students out there, your summer vacation's probably wrapping up, so I hope you made the most of it. Wait. I forgot that summer vacation at the military academy has already come and gone. Whoops. Still, it's never too late to do something bold that'll keep your memories of this summer burning bright. Hmm. And what about you, Miss Misty? You're probably asking yourselves. Well, you might want to sit down for this one. Because fate had a romantic rendezvous in store for yours truly just on the way to the studio today. A tryst with a young man in a park after sunset. Droplets of rain clinging to the grass. I'll treasure the memory forever. Or I would, if I hadn't just made it up on the spot. Chalk it up to a dreamer's poetic license, I guess. Still, maybe one day I'll feel the thrilling rush of a summer love. Gotta keep the fire burning. Wait, is she talking about when I ran into her earlier tonight? She's got quite the playful personality. Though somehow that doesn't come as too much of a surprise. <laughs> it's kind of weird thinking that I just met her on the street a couple hours ago. She is very similar to Sir Sarah. Anyway, I have to get over to the studio now. Are you really flashbacking two minutes ago? Oh, and be sure to tune in to tonight's Aubin time. It'll be a fun one. Promise. W wouldn't miss it. <laughs> and give my regards to those two, would you? Those two? 
I didn't really think about it right then, but who was she talking about? You know, when she you know, went up really close and said, him? That you're him or something? I don't think she, she's talking about, you know, that you're him. I think she's talking about you're, you're someone she might know. <laughs> that and the two of them that she's talking about. I think all that stuff should be coming across as interesting. Jeez, leave the park alone, dude. Huh. Ah, so you've arrived. Good to see you, boss. Oh, you're awfully early. Well met, Comrade V. Comrade S. Comrade. I see that you finished all your preparations as well. Smooth as silk. Although you're the one who'll be taking center stage in our next operation without a doubt. Who'd have thought you'd volunteer to go pound the pavement and crossbow? It's an interesting saying. The Red Constellation are gonna be there. I still think I'm the prime choice for this one. I disagree. As I can no longer rely on the power of the flute, it makes the most sense for me to go. Especially when you consider the very real possibility that we may have to accept a necessary sacrifice for the greater good. That is the best way for us to achieve what we desire. You're serious? Ugh. You really are too morose for your own good. <laughs> I could say the same of both of you. Why else would you have willingly plunged yourselves into a struggle like this to begin with? <laughs> I suppose you're right. <laughs> you got us there. Is there going to be another stupid plan that doesn't actually affect the Chancellor when that is your whole goal to affect the Chancellor? I see you've all gathered. Comrade C. Fashionably late, but worth the wait. That makes it a full house. I appreciate your gathering, comrades. The wheels have been set in motion. There is no place for hesitation, no time for looking back. We seek only results. No, think about who this guy is. Because I know who he is. How he made this meeting makes no sense. I couldn't agree more. No objections here either. It goes without saying. Because this is like hours away, right? That said, I will ask you but once. Comrade G, are you certain this is the path you would walk? <laughs> my heart itself beats with the ideals of the Liberation Front. If my life should see its end in Crossbell, so be it. That tyrant must be stopped from creating the vile dystopia he seeks. Dear though the cost may be. I just don't know what your issue is with this utopia, dystopia you're ma he's making, because for the, like, the overall effect he's had it seems to have been more positive than negative for the vast majority of people. Though I guess there are some negatives involved. If through our efforts we or anyone anywhere succeeds in that aim, we will have our victory. Very well. May the goddess, or perhaps powers less fair, attend you. When this is over and our victory won, let us toast our success together. In the Imperial Capital. Indeed. Farewell, my comrades. He doesn't know how to express how he feels, but I understand. Losing your place in the world for doing what's right, then throwing yourself into the eye of the storm. It ain't something I could do. Different paths brought each of us here, but the road we travel now is the same. Let us depart, Comrade S, Comrade V. We each have our own part to play in what is to come. Of course. Just leave it to us.
gonna say, I mean, we're gonna end here, but I guess it's not ending yet. All right, it's time for this month's thrilling practical exam. Is everybody, is everyone ready? Ready as I'm gonna be, anytime. Being a first year again, being, being no sweat up till now, but I guess my luck's run out for combat journey. And I can't even skip out since they won't let me graduate without it. You do want to actually finish school someday, right? Nah. You spend more of class asleep than awake, so you could at least put some effort into the practical exam. Oh, right, right, I know. This is the part where we get to fight those things that look like Lammy, right? Can't wait to jump in. Hey, can we start yet? Can we, please? Would you at least maybe make a token effort to rein in your hyperactivity, uh, hyperactive outburst? <laughs> ah, it's amazing how much just adding two classmates can shake everything up, shake things up. I guess I could have you all fight the combat shell. But since we've got two new challengers this month, how about we try a little something different? Something different? Okay, what now? Wonder what strange idea she's concocted today. A good instructor's gotta keep you guessing. And by now, you should be prepared for anything. So, Reen, pro million. Yes, instructor? Gotcha. Right here. You're the first team? What? The rest of you will be divided into two groups, an all-girls team and an all-boys team. Emma's team will be team class president, and Maki's your team will be team vice president. Reen's team will be team whatever. Each team will be facing off against each other in a series of mock battles. Why do I get the small team? Those are the dumbest team names I've ever heard. I can't really disagree, but I don't think the names are the biggest issue here. Yeah, um... The women's team kind of has the overwhelming advantage in every way. Quite an interesting split. Hey, wait a minute here. Why are the three of us in a totally separate team? And why do we have to have fewer members than them, too? Well, by my estimations, these three teams are about equal in strength. Both the girls and the boys teams are well balanced in terms of weapons and combat styles represented. Sarah, you do not, you don't even know. The teams are not balanced at all. And while your team does have fewer members, Crow has a lot of experience and Milliam has our gallon. I mean, our team, sure. We have, the, we have the protagonist who can keep up with most people. We have Eric Gatlin with Milliam, who destroys. And Crow is supposed to be really good, but you know, not really. So I think that kind of event, uh, that kind of events out, evens out your one man disadvantage, don't you? Not really, but you know, Okay, we got conditions on these fights. <clears throat> I see, it does actually make sense. At least these team divisions are less contrived than I come to expect from our field study groups. Although the part where a certain someone always draws a short straw remains remarkably consistent. Oh, who do you mean? <laughs> I wonder which poor sucker keeps getting stuck on the hard luck teams. <laughs> Fine, fine, I'll take the hand that I've dealt with this time. Okay, um, what do I need for the first battle? Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. Oh, I like that spunk. Well then, let's get down to business, shall we? 
first battle between team whatever and team vice president all right assume your positions everyone okay um i already gave you guys stuff i don't need to worry about freezing anymore so let's give you back i think it was this um Honestly, I should probably give you evasion, right? I think everybody needs some evasion, but Reen should be fine on his own. With the amount of evasion he has. Can I add more evasion? I can. I don't think you other stuff. Oh. And it's only 5%. I think we're fine. Especially because... Yeah, I gave you this. And I'm going to give you that first time, because I need to evade and counter. And nobody go down. So instead of this, here are statuses. Um, I gave it to you. Holy breath. Will be a better... Will be better for this, just in case. Um, here. And more speed is always a good thing. And then you... You have a stronger attack up. Okay. And technically speaking, I could stop here. Yeah, I should stop here. We're already at four hours. So let's end it here. We'll start off with the fight. We should be fine. All I have to do, like, is evade and counter. Uh, and not go down. But yeah. Um, save again, just in case. All right. Okay. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please um, please follow. It'd be really helpful. Um, I'm going to be focusing a lot more on streaming for the next month or so until school starts back up again. Um, of course, it'll be off and on a little bit depending on what shows up. But anyway, um, if you enjoyed, Please follow me on Twitch at Luminifus Quack. If you liked um, like the catch them up and you can't catch my streams, you can always subscribe to me on YouTube at Luminifus Quack as well. I'm putting videos up there. I believe I've pretty much caught up stream wise. Um, I think I'm putting in the last stream right now. They should be coming up. One should have already came up today, and the next one will come up around five. But yeah, so like three hours from now, um, I'll start putting more videos up on YouTube and trying to do a bit more editing, figure out how that goes. And then if you want notifications and other stuff, um, follow me on Twitter at LuminousQ. It's it'll be very helpful. Any any um, support you can give with just following me or watching my videos or anything like that as I start to grow. So anyway, um, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Take care of yourselves, and farewell. Hey guys, hope you liked that. If you did, please consider giving me a, a subscribe, a like, follow, all that stuff on all these places here. As you can see, I have a Twitch with Luminifus Quack where I record these and play games, all this stuff, a lot of new stuff coming out. Um, if you, and of course, yeah, you can follow me on YouTube here, or subscribe, and Luminif is back here, and then you have Twitter, where you can get um, notifications and all that good stuff, um, and new things going on, where I send messages and all that stuff, so please consider all that stuff, and have a good one.